Hello, thank you for coming today. I'm going to show you the steps that I do for the dirty pour. Um, I keep getting messages in my inbox and it's asking me how do I do the dirty pours. So I'm going to show you how I do it. There's many ways you could do it, but there's a few ways you could do it. Um, so this is the way that I do it. I use a little tray. You can use anything. A star, this is a styrofoam little tray from the Dollar Tree. You get like 30 in the pack for a dollar. I also get these from the Dollar Store. The paper cups. Acrylic paints. It doesn't matter the brand, but whatever colors you like. And I got these from Walmart for 50 cents. Um, some people use, I'm sorry, I hit the camera. Some people use triple thick or my Podge to seal. We'll talk about this later. We need a glass. And I'm only, I'm not keeping this glass. I'm just doing it for the demonstration. So I'm gonna come back and use this glass for something else. So I use, you can use like a soda, soda bottle, um, any kind of bottle or old shampoo bottle, as long as it, as it fits inside the rim of the cup. Because when I first did it, I sat my cup down into the pan, into the tray. And when I poured the paint over it, I couldn't get the cup up. So my paint was sitting in the pool of paint. So when I picked it up on the sides, trying to get it out of the pool of paint, I messed the sides up. So, and I also use electrical tape. I get this from the Dollar Tree also. You get like two in a pack for a dollar. And I'm gonna show you what I do with that right now. So I just go and take a piece off. I use the old epoxy bottle for mine. So I just roll the tape up and I sit it on there like so. And then I sit my cup up so my cup won't slide. Usually, I'll show you. Take it off. Sometimes when I do it, my cup slide like that and it's not sitting up straight. So, I'm sorry I keep hitting the um, camera. So, if I put the tape there like that and push the cup down, my cup won't move. So, with the paints, I'm using white, yellow, and red. I'm going to scoot that back a little bit. So, we're going to get four cups out. And we'll get four cups out because each color will have its own cup and then we're going to mix it into this last cup so we squirt out white yellow and red so when you pick your colors you keep in mind of your color wheel you need to, you need to know the color wheel so you won't get a muddy look so you know when you mix white and red together you get pink when you mix the bright yellow and a white together you can get a light yellow and when you mix red and yellow together you will get orange so when you're making cups if somebody said that they want these color these three colors you gotta let them know that there's a possibility that there will be pink in there it's a possibility that there will be orange in there you can't tell how much it will be in there but you can tell them to look for some of the some of those colors in there might be a little might be a lot because the paint goes and mixes where it flows so after we mix these three you also you also going to need um popsicle sticks I got these craft sticks. I use these to mix my epoxies, but um, we're gonna use it to mix the paint. I have some little ones also, but I think I bought these for my daycare. Um, so I got these. So, and each one, I think we might need a little bit more white than this. You also need water. And the water is to thin it out a little bit because you want it to look like, you want it to be like a melted ice cream. People also use Floetrol. This is water, but Floetrol you can get from um, Amazon, and from my understanding, is like double the price. You get it in um, Home Depot had it, and I think it's Amazon is double. Amazon is double Home Depot price. I never used it, but the 
full trough from my understanding gives it sales on the cup so I just thin mine out with a little bit of water and just mix it I don't know if you can see how it flows like that and we're gonna do each color like that so after I do this I'm gonna just um, wash it off I'm not gonna keep it on here and Walmart has paints for 50 cents they also have paints for 98 cent these, these are uh, I believe these are matte colors and yeah matte you see it says matte acrylic paint and I got matte they was 50 cent and after you add a sealant on there it, it would turn back it would turn shiny so there's no need to get a shiny paint because it's going to turn shiny after you add your sealant on there and I'll be right back I can get a paper towel to wipe this off So I wiped it off a little bit. Um, so we're gonna add, I'm gonna add a little bit more red into this. And I, this is the way I do mine. My daughter does hers different. She pours on her um, her cups and stuff. Okay, this is, you see how that that's too too watery. So I have to add. I put too much paint in there, so I have to add more. I need too much water in there. I gotta add more paint. My daughter, she does. She dumps one color at a time on her glasses. So you can use glass. You can do this on glass. This is the stainless wine glass. You can do the regular wine glasses. I've seen it done on tumblers. I've seen it done on um, coasters. Sales so unlimited. Um, Lazy Susans. The ones I seen on Lazy Susans was beautiful. The Lazy Susans were beautiful. Okay, so we have the three, the white, red, and yellow. We have the empty cup. And I just pour a little bit of white. Let me move you up so you can see. A little bit of red. A little bit of yellow. And you just keep going color by color. The most colors I mixed were four. And I ended up getting like six colors. Mix four and end up getting like six colors on the glass. However, I've done several sets of these. And the sets be having like um, two, three glasses a piece in the set no two cups will ever be alike due to the fact that the paint goes the paint paint goes where it flows so i can't make the, the second time when i do the first time i can't make the cup do the second time so yeah keep that in mind also and some you know some colors from the color wheel make your cup look muddy like a dirty color so keep in mind of the color wheel something I'm gonna scrape all the water I mean all the paint out of these cups right now move that to the side So all the colors are mixed, and that's what it looks like right now. So we're gonna bring this back, and again, I got the tape under there just so the cup can stay like that because sometimes the cup slides. Now there's people that takes the cup off, like the like I take it off real fast. Takes the cup off and put the cup on. Take the cup off and put it like that. So when they put it on here. The cup is already on there. I don't do mine that way. 
but there's many different ways to do it. So put that on there. And I'll just pour it. So the paint will go down any way that it wants. I'll take this. And you don't scrape it hard because you want some paint to stay on top of there. So you just take it, glide it across a little bit and make it come down further. You see how all the paint was sitting there? And if there's other places that the paint didn't go, I'll just take, I should have mixed more paint than this. But I got more paint in here. And you take it down. To where you you wanted to go I usually have a lot of paint in there and then it just flows down like that and I pick the paint up and drip it down to cover up spots that the paint didn't flow So if the paint flows down the sides, you just make sure all the areas are covered. And you see the paint down here. I just picks it up and cover every area. And as you can see, there's a little, some orange up here. You see the you see the red, white, and yellow. But you see some orange going down there. You see a little light shade of pink there. All the colors mix, so you have to be careful with your color wheel. So this would dry, and when it dry, it would dry matte. And I'm gonna show you what it would look like. Not all these three colors. I use yellow and white with this one. This one. This is yellow and white, and this one, I, when I scraped the paint off, I put it off. So this is not, I'm not using this one either. I'm going to um, erase that. I'm going to wash it off because it's not sealed. But you see the yellow and white mixed. I have more yellow in there than white. But when you look at inside, I don't know if you could tell, there's more white on the inside in certain areas than the outside. So when this, this one right here, the outside will look different from the inside, but we can't see that until it dry. But I'm not gonna do anything to it because it's, it was just a demo for the YouTube. So at the end, now it would dry like this. There's three ways that um, you could do it. You could seal it with my podge, triple thick. I got both of these two. From the Dollar Tree, I went back to get more triple thick, and they were gone. And they haven't. The my Dollar um, Tree never had it again. But these two came from the Dollar Tree. My do my store gets keep these in there, but they won't have these. They won't have these anymore. No also, you can seal with epoxy. This is the one I use. So I would just mix a little bit. I usually wait. I wouldn't epoxy this until I was doing like a glitter tumbler or a tray or something like that. So when I do, like if I was doing this tray, I would just take a little tiny bit from this tray, from the cup that I use with this tray to mix the epoxy for that tray, and I would just coat this all over just to seal it. And when I say seal it, I want it covered and, and cured just so enough so when I lay my transfer, I'm gonna put a decal on this. So if I put like mom on there and I lay the de my transfer tape on there, when I peel it up, it's a possibility that they'll pull my paint up. So instead of pulling the paint up, I seal it. So when I lay that stuff down, it stays down. After your decal on there, I put it on my turner. And I got a video on making a turner with um, no tools. 
and I will put on a turner and as it's spinning I will epoxy the whole thing while it's turning and then I'll let it turn for some hours and depends on the humidity in the house um, how hot it is and stuff outside and everything sometimes mine's um, cure in like six hours sometimes it takes like 10 depends on how hot it is inside and outside so that's it if you have any questions um, leave them below or send me a message if you want me to do any other videos and if I have the products I will do it and again you can use any brand of acrylic paint I use water some people use Floetrol again that's on Amazon and or Home Depot I'm not quite sure if Lowe's sell it or not but I do know Home Depot do um, you need cups to mix it in little stirs sticks to st mix it in you need some things to seal it you can use my posh you can use triple thick but I use epoxy um, I, I tried triple thick but you saw the strokes in my triple thick on my cup so I used epoxy and that's it I will show you this um, coaster my daughter made and she mixed pink it was white and she mixed white and red and you see how you see a lot of pink I don't know if it's really picking up but you see a lot of pink in this but the colors were only two she used two and it was white and red and then her epoxy that she, she used I don't know if you can see the little shimmer she in her epoxy she put um glitter in there so possibilities is endless so you can mix any colors on there sometimes I do matching um, tumbler I mean, matching coaster with the glass I would sit this under the bottom of that this on the, on the bottom of that and then when the paint drips from off of this cup it would drip, drip off of there so I would transfer this glass into another tray and just move the paint all around on a coaster because I would need to pick the coaster up and move the paint all around on the coaster so thank you for watching I appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment. I really appreciate it. Once I get um, up to a lot of subscribers, I don't have a number yet, I will do some giveaways because I do have some items that I've bought, and I bought two of. So we will be, we will be doing um, some giveaways soon. Thank you. Bye.